Hello everybody. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to make the inside of your Violet First house here in Minecraft. Uh, so if you haven't already made the outside of the house, uh, then you know you might want to do that. <laughs> um, but once you have done that, then you can come back to this video so you can make the inside. So uh, yeah, first before I uh, show you guys, I'm going to give you guys just a quick tour of the inside here. So uh, if you're a Violet First fan or if you've watched Violet First videos, then you should. Yeah, you may be able to recognize this interior. So now, now just know it's not 100% accurate just due to the size but um, of the house. You know, But I did make most of the stuff work. So uh, so first things here, obviously when you walk in, you got the TV here. You got, the, you got Bill's um, chair here and then you got the couch. You got the air conditioner right there. Uh, and then we got over here, we got Violet's office. Now, I couldn't fit Andy's room in here. I guess I guess I could have fit Andy's room, but it would have just been like a bed and that's it. Um, so I guess if you want to put Andy's room here, you can. And then just put like a very small... Yeah, there still would have been a very, very small desk here. I just, I don't know, I just figured it made more sense just to make this an office instead of a bedroom and an office. And then we got the closet right here. Um, and then as we come over here... Uh, under the stairs, we actually have a basement under here, um, which is just storage. Obviously, the real basement's much bigger, um, but yeah, it's just uh, that's what the basement is right there. Coming along this side here, we have the bathroom. Uh, we have the bathtub. Um, now, of course, the bathtub doesn't go all the way to this wall. I think it ends like right here, and then there's like another separate wall, and then here's like some storage. But uh, we have the toilet, sink, and then the laundry room's actually in here as well. So, so. It's a bathroom laundry room combo that kind of thing um, and then in here we have a kitchen so you know pretty uh, pretty iconic kitchen I guess if you've seen the channel um, you know we got this, the fridge microwave stove all kinds of stuff in here we got the table uh, and we have the just I think this is like I'm assuming this is like a pantry or some sort of closet uh, and then out here this leads out to the deck where you can you know grill burgers and whatever um, and then as we head upstairs here now, of course on the real house, there's a wall in front of the stairs um, But again, I couldn't add that um, Because if I would add that it would have like blocked the window, so I didn't want to do that Yeah, so coming upstairs we have um, This is like the case where I think Violet keeps her movies or whatever, but um, Yeah, the upstairs is a little big which I kind of hate, but um, it's not too bad overall um, and then you come in here, this is of course William's room, we have his TV, we have his, we have the silver play button, uh, we have his window with the air conditioner in there as well, got a uh, closet, and then just like some sort of storage thing, and then of course his bed in here. Uh, then here's the parents' bedroom, which uh, we don't get to see this much, but um, I was able to get some shots uh, from a few videos, so I was able to recreate the bedroom. Yeah, it's a little bigger than William's room, but makes sense because it's the parent bedroom but yeah and that's the whole that's the whole interior so i will be showing you guys how to make all of that in this video today so yeah um i've been talking way too much uh let's just get right on into this all right y'all so to get started you're gonna need um most of these materials here i think most of these some of these you won't need um Actually, you know what, let's just go, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all my stuff here. So basically, what you're going to need, you're going to need some light gray wool, you're going to need some smooth quartz block, you're going to need quartz bricks, you're going to need magenta terracotta, um, and then you can also go ahead and grab, uh, I think that's actually it. Um, yeah, so yeah, so first off, <clears throat> so yeah, go ahead and walk inside the house here, if I can get inside there, it would be great. Um, go ahead and just rip out the entire floor, doesn't matter how much, just rip out every single uh thing just go ahead and do that and then once you have done that we're actually going to go ahead and lay out all the rooms so it just makes it a lot easier to rip out the whole floor and then lay everything out so you don't have to like go in bit by bit removing all the flooring so or actually actually I, or actually no don't worry about the flooring because you what am i saying here okay never mind I, I, I forgot that this was like one layer up like it's not like, 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 okay, so don't take out the grass. Okay, never mind, because that's going to be useless as heck. All right, sorry about that. I'm sure you probably just played the video after pausing and just dug all that out. I apologize. You did not have to do that, but you don't have to refill it again, because we're just going to fill on top of it, just right beneath the door here. So, yeah, I'm not used to my buildings being 
up a level like this. Um, so yeah, anyways, so first things first, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, you're going to take your light gray wool, you're going to complete, so just from the front of the house, um, like end to end here, like from side to side here, I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to fill in eight rows of um, light gray uh, wool going all the way towards, going towards the back of the house. You want to do eight rows, all right? And then once you've done that, uh, starting on the left side here, you want to do uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I'll go ahead and do six rows of magenta terracotta and just fill it all the way up to the back. So six rows going towards the right side and you're just going to fill it all up going towards the back as you can see there. It's going to be the bathroom floor. And then basically every, everywhere else here is going to do the uh, quartz bricks for the kitchen. Uh, now the reason the flooring for the bathroom is different because that's how it is on the real house. If you look in the videos you'll see the flooring is like a pinkish color. So anyways, so next once you have filled all that up we're actually going to... Uh, start doing all the walls now. Well, we're gonna lay out all the walls mainly so so from the front door here We're actually gonna leave a gap of one going towards the left side of the house. This would be the left All right, you're gonna leave a gap of one from this you're gonna make you're gonna put a quartz and extend forward by three Extend right by one All right, and then uh, from that part you just extend it out by one You're gonna actually go back leave a gap and then put a quartz and then just extend to the wall just like that All right, and that's gonna be the layout for the office all right, and then from where you extend it to the wall, you want to leave a gap of two going towards the back of the house, and you want to put quartz, put another quartz, leave a gap, and then put three quartz, and then extend over to the wall. And then coming back down to where you extend over by three, you're going to extend over by another block, gap of two, and then you're just going to extend over to the wall, and then go back by one, and then forward by two with the quartz. All right, and then from there, you actually want to go back by all the way to here again, go left by one, so towards the, like the left of the side of the house and leave a gap of one going down and then uh, put three blocks just like that and actually here's where you actually want to dig out into the you want to dig out the floor here so the basement's the only part where we actually want to dig into the floor like into the grass uh, so yeah you can see just a four by a two by four um, area here just like this uh, so like uh, to the end like so like from the end of this quartz here uh, to this wall here is how much you want to dig basically so yeah you guys can pretty much hopefully see what I mean but yeah and then you just want to extend all the quartz up I think it's by three right uh, we'll probably extend up by like oh what is it uh, another we'll probably extend up by another row but you know that's gonna be for the ceiling but I'll figure that all out later but basically uh, and then obviously where you have the doors you obviously want to make sure that's you know two block gaps you can put a door there but I'm sure you guys knew that already. That was pretty, or hopefully that was pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, so just up by three rows with the quartz. I did originally have, uh, in the original, I put um, the pillar quartz, but I, I just decided not to do that. It just didn't really make any sense. So, you know, to have to go through all that stress of having to make them all horizontal and stuff. It's just, you know, and that's not how it is in the real house anyway. The real house has like plain white walls, so it's not like actual not like the the paneling on the outside of the house which is what the pillars are meant to represent but yeah so actually yeah i'll actually go ahead and do one more row just for the ceiling it just makes sense you know so but it's only one more row so it's not a big deal so you know nothing to stress over it's only a couple walls you know oh and over here is actually the pantry so this is where you actually want to connect over to the wall you know with the space for the doors so so yeah it's going to be the pantry for the kitchen, but, or at least I think it's a pantry. I think it's more of a closet, but whatever. It's the same thing, pretty much. But, yeah, so that is the, uh, yeah, that is the walls for the bottom floor laid out um, a little bit. So now I'll actually go ahead and start doing the ceilings. For this, you're going to need chiseled quartz and sea lantern. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start doing all the rooms here. So basically... Um, just where you had that last layer of, uh, where you just added that last layer of quartz, that's where you want to start putting the ceiling. Literally just, you know, for these rooms, you just want to put a, basically just a square of chiseled quartz, and then, you know, if it's an odd number, kind of split it down the middle. If it's even, just uh, try to make it, you know, try to make the lights even. Uh, I'll do, I'll, I'll put, I'll, uh, excuse me, I'll do this whole thing uh, on camera. Like, especially for the kitchen, it's a little bit weird. 
Um, so this is basically like, like just like this, basically how I just did it. And then you just, uh, right there, you want to block that off. And then there we go. Uh, make sure the edges are all chiseled quartz, you know, so, uh, and then for this little hallway to the bathroom, it's a little weird. Um, just kind of, you know, do it like this, um, just like that, put some lighting in there so it's not too dark over there but yeah and then just around the stairs and then uh which we still have to put the stairs in but I'll, we'll do that later uh i guess right here we're actually going to put more like yeah we can actually fill this up because that's going to be like where a cabinet is so there's not going to be no point in adding a ceiling there if there's not going to be anything there so um all right and then we kind of just divide this up it's a little weird like i said um and then we'll just go ahead and make this like bigger lights I guess I don't know see ceilings are really weird they're like they're not always even so it's just that's just kind of how it is but yeah not too bad I don't think I think that looks pretty good um but yeah that's the uh that's pretty much the flooring and the walls for the bottom floor laid out so you can kind of see how everything works here you got the kitchen you got the living room you got the tv you got the office you know pretty self-explanatory there Alrighty, so now that we got the ceilings and flooring and walls done for the bottom floor, we got to figure out the stair situation. So go ahead and grab birch stairs. Uh, we actually need to, I think we'll, we still need to lay out the uh, the top floor, which is going to be very weird. Uh, and I, I do realize the lighting is laid out differently in here, but it does not matter. Uh, same here, but like I said, the lighting really doesn't matter how it's laid out, as long as it's laid out good and you can get some light in your house, I guess. But yeah, um, so yeah, this is um, it's a bit of a tricky build. I haven't done, I've never done a two-story build before, at least on this channel I haven't. So this is definitely going to be interesting. So all right, so I think, hang on. So basically, so where we have the okay, so we already laid out the basement wall there, because uh, it's weird because we have like the stairs for the basement and then we also have the stairs for the upstairs. Alright, so I think uh, we already pretty much, alright, yeah, so I think just right here, so like where this wall is, you want to basically put uh, birch stairs and you just want to lead them up until they eventually reach the, the top here, and then you can just go ahead and dig this out right here probably, and then just, we'll probably just leave it there for a minute, or for a bit, we'll go ahead and cover that up, this is the pantry ceiling, we'll probably just cover it up like right there or something. Yeah, we'll put some flooring up here, this is going to be for the upstairs bedrooms, um, but yeah, so there's the stairs going upstairs, <laughs> you know, right? So, uh, all right. So then for the basement, the basement's going to be kind of weird because this is where you have to actually dig into the ground, which I don't know if I've actually ever done that before. I'm sure maybe I have, I don't know. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I actually have at all. So, all right, so this is the flooring. One, two, three, right? Flooring, one, two, three. Yeah, so I think we just dig, like... I literally forgot I'm stupid. One, two, three. Yeah, three blocks down. Okay. Basically, I think it's until it hits bedrock, right? Right? Yeah, bedrock. Okay. And then you can actually... Oh, why did I grab birch stairs? You can go ahead and go ahead and grab stone block. Um, just like regular stone. I'm um, going the wrong way, of course. But yeah, so just go ahead and grab regular stone block. Um, and then... So like where the floor is here, you basically want to dig out on one, two, three... Uh, yeah, just until it hits bedrock, if you're on, um, uh, flat world, that is. If you're not, just dig down three blocks. You can actually make it, like, if you're not, if you're in, like, um, infinite world, you can make this basement a lot bigger, so, you know, feel free to do that, but, you know, since we're only in, uh, um, since we're only in bedrock, which for some stupid reason only lets you go down, like, three blocks, you know, it's kind of dumb, honestly, but... Whatever, that's Minecraft for you, I guess. All right, so you want to dig out two blocks in front of the stairs. So this basement, we got to lay it out a certain way uh, in order for it to work. So, so yeah, we got to, so like, okay, well, I don't really, okay. So I guess we should start putting in the stairs, uh, which I'm not sure if it's one block wide or two blocks wide, of course. I literally forgot. I'm sure you guys saw, but you guys can probably rewind. Unlike me, I can't rewind, unfortunately. So I don't actually, I don't, I unfortunately don't have that power. Oof, um, but yes, yeah, so that's, I guess we could do two rows, I don't, I mean, but no, we'll go ahead and just do one here, just, yeah, so yeah, once you hit bedrock here, you want to, yes, yeah, so this is where you want to go ahead and uh, do two rows forward like this, there we go, so yeah, two rows, so like once the stairs hit the bedrock here, you want to have two rows in front of the stairs, 
And then, of course, I have no idea how many. Oh, and then you want to, oh, darn it. Okay, well, of course that happened. All right, well, that's annoying. Dang it. Oh, geez. And then, of course, the stairs are right here. Darn it. See, this is, I hate basements so much, guys. Basements are the absolute worst. I hate them, especially in bedrock, guys. All right, this basement's going to be an issue. I don't know how to do this. All right, I think the stairs need to be further back. That's probably the issue. I think I, yeah, I don't know why I have set them like way too uh yeah i think we should probably oh that's the wrong block yeah okay so i think yeah so like right here okay yeah so i just set them okay so you want them against the wall here like this and then because then you know you won't be able to right and then i guess we i mean you don't have to make it this size but you know, i don't know i think we're gonna be digging out the walls anyway and making them okay so yeah you want to have enough room to actually be able to like walk up onto the stairs i guess but um, yeah, you should be able to easily slide down here. There we go. All right, and then yeah, basically I guess what we should do now is just go ahead and tear up the floor. But first, uh, I gotta figure out if this basement's the right size. Yeah, this tutorial is gonna be long as heck, guys. I can already tell. It's gonna be at least an hour long or something. Um, all right, so okay, I guess we already. Okay, yeah, I guess we already made the basement big enough. So. Um, it really doesn't matter. You do want it to be, you know, kind of a certain size, but I don't know. I guess you could make it bigger, but you don't want to make it until it like, you know, you know, you can see it from the outside. You know, you want to be able to make sure it's nice and isolated. But yeah, I'd say this is a good size right here. So we can go ahead and start digging out this bedrock, replace it with stone. Sounds like a great idea, I think. Here, let me just... Uh, cover all this up here and then all right yeah so basically for the basement you dig out the bedrock put in floor uh, the stone um, and then for the walls it's literally just quartz it's nothing special you know because that's you know just plain white uh, walls for the and then make sure you know where the stairs are here you want to make sure there's no dirt peeking through you know we want this all to be nice and clean in here both literally and figuratively I guess <laughs> But yeah, this basement isn't too big. Uh, I'm sure, again, you guys can make this whole lot bigger. Uh, you can either cover up these stairs, like, with block, or you can um, leave them for, you know, you can put, like, storage in there. I'll probably put storage under here. Just makes sense, you know? Um, but yeah, again, just dig out the walls with the where the dirt blocks are. Actually, here, I'm actually just going to cover this up because I want it to be the same size as the other basement. So, yeah. But again, you guys can make this bigger if you want, especially if you're in uh, Infinite World or... Just basically not flat world, I guess, but, um, but yeah, and then I guess we can put the carpet through here, I guess. Oh, that's not even carpet. Wow, I'm literally an idiot, guys. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said it, but it's so true. Um, and then I guess here we could probably put, like, uh, smooth, we could probably put, like, quartz block here, maybe. Well, no, because then that's skinny as heck. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm dumb okay just like don't even do anything yet guys i'm confused as heck guys i suck at this <laughs> all righty let me see here okay we got um okay yeah just go ahead and get rid of everything so then just grab like chest barrels brown shulker box pillar quartz block iron bar i'll go and grab lantern bookshelf pretty much it and then, uh, yes, yeah, see, this part of the basement's confusing. Oh, because there's a wall here. Okay, so then just grab smooth quartz block and gray wool after that. Uh, okay, there was a wall there. No wonder. I don't know how I missed that. Okay, so yeah, then, yeah, go back to the, well, you should already be in the basement to begin with. But, okay, yeah, there was a wall here. No wonder. Jeez, I'm not very smart, am I? All right, um, and I guess we could cover that up. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'll probably put a little lantern. Oh, lantern? Or not, I guess. Fine. Oh, jeez. See, look how good I am at this, guys. Look at this. Look at me. I'm so good. Alrighty. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put bookshelf under here. Uh, I'll put a lantern here. Two pillar quartz block and a iron bar makes a hot water heater. Uh, and then just some random storage under here. Literally does not matter. It's meant to be randomly placed. So just place them however you wish. Um... And, uh, yeah, that's basically the basement. That's it. Yep, that's the basement done. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess down here you can cover that up. But, yeah, that's the basement done. I'm not even gonna worry about it. That's it. 
Uh, and then the door, I think, is... Um, what kind of door is it? Go ahead and get rid of everything, by the way. What door is it? I think it's... Oh, yeah, I think it's just this uh, birch door. So, yeah, just grab a birch door. I mean, you could use whatever door you want, really, but I tried to be a little more realistic. But, yeah, and kind of put it inward, so not, like, out here like this, but make sure it's, like, in like this. I don't know. It just makes more sense to do it like that. And there you go. That's the basement. All right, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I suck at making basements, so... Yeah... So for the future, when I have to make a basement, that's going to be annoying, so yay. All right, first basement was a fail, but at least we, uh, and I got to fix the stairs now, yay. All right, oh, I failed. There we go. All right, so before we even worry about the upstairs, we're just, like, we're not even going to worry about it. Uh, of course, my stupid dogs are barking. Uh, we're going to start doing uh, all the details. So first of all, go ahead and grab button and ladder. Uh, and then grab shulker box, or not shulker box, I'm an idiot. Scaffolding, poppy. Or just any flower, really. Flower pots. Uh, go ahead and grab black concrete, gray concrete, stone stairs, and white shulker box. And then uh, once you've grabbed all that, we're going to start making the living room. So, uh, for the white concretes here uh, below the window here, we have a... Uh, well, I mean, this could be on either side, but we have a ladder and a button. That's going to be the air conditioner. Um, and then for right here in this little gap space here, we have gray concrete with a button in it uh, i mean there wasn't a button in it to begin with but i figured that'd be a nice little addition uh if you know turn on the tv it doesn't actually turn on but and then just some stone stairs on the other side black concrete above it and then white shulker box those are just some cabinets and then yeah that's the tv and then here we just have two scaffoldings a flower pot with a poppy in it um and then that's pretty much all we can do now we just got to grab new stuff so go ahead and clear everything out see this is so much easier than having a material list and having to like go through the chest guys this is honestly so much easier but it's like so much easier than like naming all the materials and you know making a material list this is just easier guys i'm so happy i'm doing this so all right and then grab spruce stairs spruce trapdoor bookshelf um painting of any kind and then that's pretty much it and then go ahead and grab birch door as well uh, and then you can go ahead and grab a clock and then an item frame if you want as well. Keyword if you want, um, because it's optional, you know, you don't have to do it. Uh, a clock just goes above the basement door, and then we just have some bookshelves right here just for decor. We also have a whole row of bookshelves on this side because there's like a whole shelf thing over here. Uh, you can go ahead and start putting doors down, by the way. I forgot about that. But yeah, just kind of wherever you see, except for the kitchen. The kitchen's meant to be just a doorway. Um, I mean, I guess you could put a door here, but it just doesn't make sense because that's not how it is in the real house, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, um, I suppose this house could use more detail. I really wasn't too, uh, um, much, I didn't do too much with the detail. But yeah, and then just a couch here. It doesn't have to be a certain size, but, but yeah, it's just that big round couch. And then, of course, Bill's chair, which I'm going to put, like, right here. I think it's a good spot. Uh, maybe you can make that longer, or not longer, but you can probably put it like over here. You can maybe put a table here as well for all of Bill's Big Macs and stuff. So yeah, there you go. You may not, you may also not want this too close to the stairs. You can make that shorter if you want. I'm actually gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna make this just a little shorter. Make this a little longer. I don't know. There we go. That's just you know whatever you want. And then you can even add like a little footrest if you want here as well. You can just do like some spruce slabs. Um, but yeah, pretty, uh, it's a pretty bland interior. I didn't really do too much detail in here. I know there's a whole lot more stuff in the interior, but I just, I honestly didn't do too much in here, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Again, feel free to add more stuff, uh, especially on the outside. They have a whole bunch of junk outside their house, so if you want to add all sorts of stuff out there, but you know, right now I really don't care. Coming into the office here, uh, we're going to go ahead and just, so like where the door is here, and then coming into this back corner, you're going to delete two blocks, go ahead and extend the gray wool in there, and then put birch door, that's meant to be just a closet, there's like a little closet in there, so. Uh, you could make this a bedroom if you want to, but like you can make this Andy's room, um, but I'm going to make it Violet's office, because it just, it seems more important, you know, I don't know, just makes more sense, I guess. I mean, you could somehow maybe fit Andy's room in here. Um, but it's going to be really, really tight. At most, it'd be like one or, yeah, it'd, pre it'd be at most like one block, so it'd be pretty tight in here, so I wouldn't recommend it, you know, and it's not really necessary. It just makes more sense for this room to be an office anyways, but, you know, that's why I have it in the original, but, you know, again, you do what you want. It's your house. Alrighty, so, 
Now, let's make Violet's office. Get this out of the way. So, barrel, chest, lantern, spruce trap door, painting, uh, and then uh, dark oak slab, dark oak trap door, dark oak stairs, and black stone brick stairs. Yay. I don't know. Anyways. Um, alrighty. So, um, I'm like lost right now, guys. This is going to be a long tutorial. <laughs> alrighty. So, once we get in here... We have the uh, trap doors here, except for above the door. That's where you not want it. Uh, and then just up here, it really doesn't matter what you put or how many you put. Just kind of put whatever here. You can even just do it like that. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then like a lantern up there. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure this is just like a painting. Yeah, right there. Uh, and then we have some stuff here. And then for the desk, I of course forgot. I think the chair is like right here. Uh, and then... Trap door, I think, is here. Oak slab, and then, yeah, I think it's actually, yeah, okay, I think I actually got this right, yeah. All right, you want this to be one block big, because obviously you want to be able to walk in front of the desk, and also, but like, between the stuff here on the wall, and then between the desk as well. Uh, and then I'm not sure, I'm sure there's more paintings in here. I think there is, actually, I'm sure if I remember. Yes, there is, okay. Um, but before we put that painting, go ahead and grab bookshelf. Um, not Don't grab everything else yet, just grab bookshelf for right now. Uh, and then with your spruce trapdoor, we're going to make another shelf just in this top corner. But before we do that, uh, let's go ahead and make just like a one by one painting. You can make a bigger painting, but you know, whatever. And, and again, feel free to add more detail. You know, I know there's a lot more detail in the real house. Um, so feel free to add all that. But I just, I really just don't care at this point. But uh, also go ahead and uh, you can also go ahead and add the clock in here, I guess, if you want to as well. So like just right above, no, not there, right above the door there, we can put a clock. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then what else do we have? Yes, we have the computer and stuff. So yeah, now you can go ahead and uh, get rid of all your materials. And then, uh, coming back in the house here, I'm gonna grab the alien. If that's how you pronounce it, probably not. Um, because, you know, I have, I'm not good at pronouncing stuff. But yeah, then grab button, stone stairs, painting, uh, even though we already had painting, but, you know, grab it again. Uh, pressure plate, uh, shulker box of any kind, uh, and then just, like, a shulker box color, or, you know, light gray concrete, basically, and then, you know, item frame, that's, yeah. Anyways, yeah, so this is gonna be, like, a filing cabinet, so coming back into Violet's office here, uh, we're gonna... So basically in this corner here, uh, you can make the, you can make this like both dark gray and light gray or just dark gray, just light gray, whatever. I'm just going to do light gray. It just seems more of a natural color, I think, for a, um, filing cabinet. And then, uh, just in front of the stair here, you just want to do a painting. I'm surprised that didn't do a one by two painting. That's funny. Uh, and then a pressure plate, stone button, and a flower, any kind of flower. It doesn't have to be an alien, but, or an alien, alien, whatever. I'm going to call it an alien. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Sounds like alien. Like, that's just dumb. I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I apologize. Anyways, um, and then finally, all we have to do is make a printer. So that's polished andesite, iron trap door, polished andesite, stair stone button, and white banner. And then we're done in here. So, and then to finish off Violet's office, this is what we'll have. Um, so yeah, uh, so this is simply just polished andesite. Oops. Polished andesite stairs, trap door. Uh, on top of the stairs, stone button in front of the block, and then on top of the block, put a white banner for a piece of paper. And that's the office. I think this actually looks pretty good, so we have a nice little storage room in here and stuff. So, Alright, so that's the office, living room, um, you know, done, I'd say, at least. <laughs> Again, add more detail. This definitely could use a lot more detail in here, but I just, at this point, I don't care. So, yeah, there you go. But, alrighty, so now, um, I think before we do the kitchen, let's take care of the bathroom first. So... So go ahead and grab quartz stairs, yellow banner, sh uh, not shulker box, tripwire tri hook, stone button, lever, end rod. Uh, we'll grab hopper, blue banner, and barrel. All right. Uh, and then actually, let's go ahead and grab the rest of the stuff uh, before we actually... Uh, um, hang on. There we go. All right. And then, yeah, we'll need... I just got rid of it. We need the spruce trap door. We'll need quartz block. We already grabbed the stairs. We'll need uh, weighted pressure plate. We'll need iron trap door, cauldron, white shulker box, snowball, and uh, item frame. I don't think we grabbed that. Nope. And then we can also go ahead and grab water bucket as well. Uh, and then, yeah, that'll be the uh, bathroom stuff. So, 
I don't think we'll need to come back in there, but of course me and my very tiny mind, I'm gonna have to go back in there at least a hundred times. So, but we're gonna try not to. Okay, so actually for the bathroom, um, I think in the real house, there's like, the bathtub is actually like sh uh, sectioned off a little more. So, uh, so I'm giving you guys an option here. You can either make the tub go all the way across or you can make it only like three blocks and then cut it off like right about here and then maybe add a little storage thing. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that, and then, okay, no, I'm not going to do uh, pillar quartz. I don't like that. I'm just going to leave that alone. So there we go. Uh, and then you can even uh, make this light a little shorter there. Uh, and then we can kind of put some, uh, like, bookshelves in here, or maybe, like, racks for, like, towels and stuff or whatever, but that's just kind of a little storage thing. Uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much that. All right. Uh, and then here in this corner, uh, just below the window, basically you want to have a cauldron with water bucket in it, um, and then an iron trap door on top. Oops, this is like way off frame. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, and then a shulker box facing outward from the wall. Item frame in front of it. Snowball. That's a washer. That's a dryer. A little laundry room set or whatever you want to call it. Um, all right, and then let's go ahead and put all this back in here. All right. Let's go ahead and make the bathtubs. So that's just going to require smooth cord stairs, yellow banner, triple bar hook, stone button, lever, and rod. Oh my gosh. Okay. So basically, so in this little corner here, or just all the way across the wall, whatever you chose here, um, you just want to make uh, stairs going around like this. That kind of looks like a tub. This is by far the best tub design, I think. And you can even put water in here too. Like if we grab a um, water bucket here, you can actually uh, put uh, water in here, which I like. So if you want to make it full of water, there you go. Make William take a bath. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, put some, uh, you can put some end rods up here just like so. With uh, yellow banners just below that for the shower curtain. And then just a tripwire hook, button, and a lever facing down that's a shower head or supposed to be a shower head. Um, and yeah, that's pretty standard tub, I think. And then for the toilet... Uh, we'll go ahead and grab, um, go ahead and grab smooth quartz stairs, uh, smooth quartz block, and then trip wire hook, or not trip wire hook, sorry, uh, iron trap door, uh, weighted pressure plate, uh, or actually, no, we don't need the weight iron trap door, so, I mean, you could use iron trap door, but I'm gonna use spruce trap door, uh, this is gonna be for the toilet seat, so you can either use spruce trap door, iron trap door, or any kind of trap door, you can do oak, dark oak, whatever, um, I think that's it, actually, yeah, so, um, yeah, and then you just want to, just right against the wall here, you want to have a stair, upside down stair coming out, delete the block, and then upside down stair behind that. Smooth quartz block, and then trap door, and then a weight of pressure plate on top, and then go ahead and grab a stone button, which I of course forgot to tell you guys to grab. And there you go. I would put toilet paper, but there's like no room for it. Uh, you can probably put it like up here, but you know, you know, Bill's just gonna have to go without toilet paper, you know, having to wipe his butt after all those Big Macs, you know. <laughs> or well, I guess all that Taco Bell makes it more like, I don't know, because that's, you know, the more reason why you'd be in the bathroom. I don't know. I'm trying to be funny and I'm failing miserably. Anyways, uh, a hopper and then tripwire hook and then blue, light blue banner and then barrel. Uh, shoot, what else? What were we going to use the item frame for? I'm literally stupid. I'll write the dryer. We already used it. All right. Uh, and then I think that's actually it. Yeah. All right. And then just in this very middle block here, you want to put a hopper, tripwire hook, light blue banner above it, and then barrels on the sides. Um, and then that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the bathroom done, I'd say. Um, let me just double check, of course. I got to always double check, make sure I'm doing everything right. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty standard bathroom, but yeah, that's, that's the, yeah, that's the whole bathroom done, so, so yeah, pretty nice, um, I think it turned out really well, so yeah, there you go, we can go ahead and, uh, get rid of all this, let's go ahead and, uh, get rid of all this, there we go, perfect, alright, so that's the bathroom done, so now we can finally get to work on the kitchen before we have to do the, uh, the upstairs, so, yeah, which is gonna be quite sad, but, well, I, well, it's just it's just gonna be hard, you know. I gotta figure out how to lay out everything. So, first things first. Once you've got rid of everything, go ahead and grab yourself some uh, spruce stairs, red carpet, scaffolding. Grab a painting, uh, and you can even go ahead and grab some spruce trap door. 
Uh, go ahead and grab yourself some white shulker box. Grab a polished diorite. Grab a furnace. Grab a oak trapdoor, and that's pretty much it. So, alrighty. So, coming in here, we need. Uh, so just in this corner here. So basically, from where that actually in the pantry. Let's go ahead and put some uh, spruce trapdoors in there for the shelves. All right. Uh, next, um, just like, so like from, um, hmm, so we have these three blocks here. This very middle block, you want to put a, uh, spruce stair, and then just kind of round them in a circle like this, and then scaffolding, red carpet, and there you go. And then we can also go ahead and put ourselves a painting. Boom. Lovely. Alrighty. Uh, and then, uh, just to make things easier, let's just go ahead and put diorite all throughout here, and then just kind of knock out stuff as we go. So from this very first block, knock that out, leave a gap of one, knock that block out, and put a furnace. That's going to be our stove, obviously. And then here, you can actually go ahead and knock that out, and I think right here as well. So just right below the window, and then that's pretty much it. And same thing with the white shulker box, just kind of like put that all around here, except for the window, obviously. Uh, those are obviously cabinets. Uh, here in the middle, you can pretty much just put a quartz. It really doesn't matter. Just kind of clear that off. Uh, oh, and then right above the furnace, you actually want to delete the sh uh, shulker box and put a another furnace and a oak trap door, and that's supposed to be a microwave. One of those like overhead microwaves. So, so yeah, and then uh, go ahead and clear everything out again, uh, including the shulker box. All right. Uh, by the way, you may have noticed I changed my character. It's supposed to look like Kurt Cobain from Nirvana. But, yeah, I, I think it looks okay. Uh, anyways, um, and then we have some quartz stairs. We'll do an episode. We'll grab diorite stairs. Um, we'll grab white concrete, iron door. We'll grab detector rail. We'll grab red and yellow candles. And then brewing stand and grindstone. And then we'll just come back into here. All right. So first things first, below the window, you want to have one of these being a quartz stairs facing into the window. And then an upside down uh, polished diorite stair. And then we'll put a, that's meant to be a dishwasher. That's a sink. Of course, there's, I couldn't put a faucet because you can't put short bar hooks on top of um, pane. But, and then detector rail above the furnace here. Uh, and then just on this side here, you want to have two white concretes and an iron door in front of it, just like so. And then red candles on one side, yellow candles on the other. That's ketchup, that's mustard. Brewing stand, grindstone, and that's pretty much it. So go ahead and clear all that out as well. Let me find where the house is. Here he is, or here it is. I don't know why I said he. That was weird. Uh, grab oak trap door, um, oak pressure plate, uh, seed pickles, and then flower pot to completely finish off this kitchen. So, all right, coming back in the kitchen here. Go ahead and put a oak trap door in front of the upside down polished diorite stair for the dishwasher. Uh, pressure plate beside this. This is meant to be some sort of like cutter or I guess that's more of a toaster I think I don't know. This is meant to be a cutting board uh, and then just on this side some pickles uh, Flower pot and pickles or you can do it the other way around two flower pots and a pickle I don't know whatever you want, but yeah, that's pretty much the kitchen again You can add a lot more detail if you want, but that's just that's what I chose to do So again, this house definitely could use a lot more detail. So feel free to do that uh, I'm actually gonna put another painting because I just don't like how bare this wall is so uh, I'm actually going to put another painting in here. Here we go. Makes it look a little more detailed, but again, add a lot more detail if you want. But but yeah, uh, believe it or not, that's actually the entire first floor uh, and basement done. So that unfortunately means we have to start doing the top floor, which for me is going to be very hard. So I'm going to have to figure that out, unfortunately. So uh, bear with me, guys. I'm not going to uh, this, again, this is the first time I've ever done a tutorial on a two-story building. Well, actually, that's not true. On one of my channels, I did... Well, actually, no. That that building, I didn't do the inside of. Sorry, I was talking about an Outback tutorial I did on one of my other channels, but I will do another Outback uh, Steakhouse tutorial on this channel as well. So, Alrighty, so let me see here. So the stairs should be like two blocks away from this wall here. Um, let's see. So let me check and see if that's right, first of all. Um, I'm sure it is, but I just want to really double check. Um, of course it's not. Okay. Um, well, that's a pro. Well, actually, no. We actually need to make the stair one more taller. So you just want to make the stair one more block taller. There we go. And that's how you do it. All right. So yeah, let's start, um, yeah, let's actually start laying out the hallway and then it'll be a lot easier to, so just in front of the stairs, just put some light gray, uh, wool there. All right. And then I'll figure out the rest. Um, 
yeah, that kind of starts us off for the upstairs. Alrighty, and then, yeah, and then I guess he would extend this one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, so basically just extend all that to the right by five. So the two rows of gray, um, light gray um, wool, you want to extend left by five. So that is one, two, three, four, five. Oops, five, just like that. There we go. Alrighty, extend that left by five. Alrighty, and then forward. I, of course, don't know how many because I'm not very smart. So, all right, all the way back upstairs. I guess I could just knock out this window and go through, but... You know, I don't have to go all the, all the way through the downstairs, but, um, all right, so, like, so, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, all right, forward, all right, so, th okay, basically, then, what you want to do, I'm going to knock out this window, too, we're going to leave a gap of one, and then do one, two, three, four, and then extend forward by another row, and then here, we're going to go ahead and put quartz block there, all right, we're actually going to go ahead and section this off, I think like right here just above the stairs here so, so yeah this is where you want this to be I think right hopefully I'm right I don't know all right actually no I think this wants to be one block further right hopefully I'll see if you can actually walk up and down the stairs you can all right good all right we'll go ahead and make that uh, one block further then all right so it's a little confusing but basically so where we have these two Quartz, you want to basically extend forward by one, two, three, and then just connect to the wall. It's basically how you want to do that. Uh, and then I think here we just... I don't know what we do here. I'm literally dumb. <laughs> oh, wrong way. I keep forgetting which way the, the real house is or the original house is, whatever, same thing. All right, so coming back over here. Um, let's see. So we have laid, we laid out the uh, top floor here. Uh, right, so this is all, um, I'm trying to figure this out. Right, okay, oh, okay, so yeah, this is like where the, okay. Alrighty, so yeah, that's where William's floor is. So like right here is where his floor is going to be. And then all other stuff, okay. Alrighty, so yeah, that doesn't, uh, that looks fine then. Alright, so yeah, that should be good then. If we, uh, we just got that then, alright, yeah, perfect. Yeah, we should be good then. All right, um, all right, yeah, so I guess go ahead and grab a birch fence, um, white stained glass, black carpet, and tripwire hook for now at least. All right, so just where we have this, uh, these two last, like, um, gray, uh, wool here, light gray wool, you want to make like a two by two thing of glass block and then a regular, well, white stained glass block, but then, and then tripwire hooks at the bottom and then black carpet on top. And then that's like uh, Violet's like movie case thing, whatever, at least I think that's what it is. I don't know. All right. And then, uh, yeah, go ahead and actually put quartz block kind of up here like this. All right. And then I think we actually, yeah. Okay. That should be fine then. Actually, you know what? Don't do that. I don't know. I'm, I still don't know what I'm doing, guys. All right. And then just put, like, two birch fence right there. Just like so. And then that should be fine. Yay. All righty. All right. So, and then... All right. Now I guess we'll start putting... All right. So, one, two, three, blank, one. All right. So, then grab your quartz block. And then... So, from this fence here, you want to do one, two, three. Oh, that's way too thin. What the hell? Or what the heck? <laughs> Sorry, excuse my language there. Um, yeah, it's like... Wow, that needs to be like a full gap of three. What the heck? Okay, I did this completely wrong. Wow, I am dumb. One, two, three... Yeah, there needs to be... Oh yeah, there's a gap of three right here. Okay, so I guess... So I guess from just... Dude, this makes no sense. What the heck? Alright, yeah, this makes no sense, guys. I don't know what I'm doing, literally. Alrighty. Um, yeah, because, like, right here we have... Because if we have the fence right here... Oh, I am dumb. Wait, it goes right here. Okay. See, so, yeah, I, I don't know how I got that wrong. That was dumb. Okay, so, yeah, just put a row of quartz here. Just basically, just all around, basically just around the... Uh, just around the carpet, just like that. And then that'll be... That kind of lays, that kind of sections off the hallway, basically. All right, and then, um, I literally forgot, wow, where's the doors are. Okay, 
And then literally just from this, so like in this corner here, you basically want to like leave a gap of one and then leave a gap of one. That's going to be William's door. That's going to be Violet's door or just, you know, the parent's door or whatever. All right. And then here you actually want to section this off right here. And then that's going to be William's room. That's going to be the parent's room. There we go. Perfect. And now we can start putting the flooring in. So the flooring is all the same for each uh, room. So both rooms have the same amount of, the, both rooms have the same exact flooring. So it's all just the same carpet. At least I think it is. I don't know. If it's not, you guys can change it, but I'm pretty sure they all have the same carpet. So I'm, 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 I think I looked like when I was doing this. So, alrighty. Uh, so this part's going to be a little weird. I'm going to have to figure this out, but yeah, I think I'll just go ahead for right now. Just kind of, um, yeah, I guess just go ahead and put, uh, oh wait, that's not going to work because yeah. Okay. never mind. I guess. All right. So I guess, yeah, this part, you actually want this to be higher. Yeah. But you still want to be able to actually go down there. Okay. Yeah, so you want this to be like one block higher, basically. But you still want this to go above the stairs, but it just wants to, you know, you still want to be able to like actually walk up here, so. All right, and then this should be good then, I guess, because like the lower you go, it shouldn't be as bad. All right. Yeah, and then just kind of do a diagonal going down and put like two quarts there. Um, and then, and then here we really can't do anything. So we're just going to have to leave that like that, unfortunately, so. See, this house is weird. It's like not built right or something. I don't know. I think I built it wrong because like the stairs, stairs are the worst guys. I seriously don't like stairs. Alrighty. Both real life and in, you know, in Minecraft, I can't stand stairs. So yeah, I think we definitely did this part wrong, but that's okay. We're going to cover that up with the orange walls and stuff in here. So yeah, of course I forgot how uh, tall these walls are supposed to be. So one, two, three. Oh, it's literally the same as before. So all right, so literally just extend all these walls up by three. So that's gonna be one, two, and three. But we're gonna do four because we have a ceiling, you know. So and then up oh, by three. Yeah, that's right. Alrighty, so and there you go and then i guess here oh no i guess not or actually well there's actually going to be covered up so we can actually yeah we can actually put quartz there that's fine that'll be fine all right and i think here we can actually put it as well because again it's going to be covered up right no it's not okay we're just going to leave it then we're just going to leave that alone but yeah because that's being annoying for no reason so all righty so i guess now um I guess before we do ceilings, we'll actually just, um, where am I going here? <laughs> All right, let's start putting in William's walls, I guess. So going to get rid of everything, grab orange concrete. And then for Violet's room, go ahead and grab light blue terracotta. And basically just like completely coat the inside of this with the orange concrete. Uh, at least for uh, William's room, that is, not for Violet's, obviously. Yeah, Violet, you want to have the light blue terracotta, because that's, like, the color it had in their their room. Their room is, like, a very weird, like, bluish color. Uh, I think this is honestly the, the closest I could get in terms of Minecraft. Uh, make sure you don't cover the air conditioner, you know, William's air conditioner. You got to make sure he's nice and cool in his room, so. <laughs> so, yeah, got to make sure that's, you know, happening, so. Um, okay, yeah, see, this part's weird. Um, yeah, just leave that part alone. It's gonna stick out, but I think we'll fix that. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll fix that a little later, so. Yeah, just leave that part alone. And then, in the parents' room, again, just completely coat this up, except for the door, obviously, with, uh, the blue, so. Yeah, this is just gonna be the interior walls, which I rarely ever do. I don't, at least I think, yeah, I, I rarely, actually... Actually, no, I think I've done, yeah, no, I've done a few interior walls quite, actually, yeah, I've done quite a few interior walls, but yeah, it's it's nice to do interior walls, because it's like, it's not all the same wall color, it's like each room has their own color, so, which I like, especially here, just makes things look a lot better when you have an interior wall in there, but yeah, just kind of do that, uh, I know it looks weird right now, but we will fix that up a little bit, um, because, yeah, all right. Alrighty, so now first, yeah, so we do actually end up covering this up. Okay, so basically the way you want to do this is right where William's door is, you want to leave a gap of one and then just like put a orange, like kind of a, just put a row of orange here basically. Uh, and then I think on this side, alright, yeah, so right here you can actually dig out a two by two and then dig out the, 
white and then put orange in the back there that's going to be for william's closet so just right by the door here we have his closet right here and that's where you can put his clothes and stuff so it's pretty cool there you can do that make his closet all right so yeah, then go ahead and grab, um, uh, go ahead and get rid of everything, go ahead and grab a barrel, go ahead and grab a weighted pressure plate, uh, go ahead and grab orange concrete again, black concrete, bookshelf, iron ingot, light blue bed, uh, pressure plate, or not pressure plate, um, item frame, and then painting. Uh, and obviously we'll need a few more things, but um, that's most of it. So yeah, coming in here, so yeah, like I said, we will cover this up, so the orange concrete does cover up that white, thankfully, so it doesn't look stupid which is always nice, and I don't think, yeah, so actually, over here, so, oh, except for right here, it actually, well, actually, here, the bed's gonna be covering it up, so I guess it really doesn't matter, oh, well, you still can't, huh, well, actually, you won't be able to really see it, so you can just go ahead and probably just, yeah, so now you can actually, yeah, so you can cover that up with the white, there we go, I mean, you really can't see it from William's bed there, so, yeah, so you can't see it, thankfully, there we go, so you do cover that up, um, oh, I meant to, all right, and then with the black concrete, excuse my dogs, uh, black concrete, orange concrete, bookshelf, no, wait, no, the bookshelf goes above the black concrete, sorry about that, there we go, and that's, like, his video games, that's his TV, uh, and then here in the corner here, we got item frame, iron ingot, and then just, like, a painting here, for a poster, you can put another one there, um, all right, and then that's the, that's the silver play button, by the way. If you're wondering, oh, and then in this corner, a barrel and a weighted pressure plate. That's supposed to be like his little counter thing. I don't know. He's got like a weird little like counter in his room. So I don't know. Uh, if you guys watch the videos, you'll see what I mean. But like if you see the videos like of him in his room and whatever. But all right, then grab ladder, button, and then end rod, and then just two random banners. Really doesn't matter which ones. Um, but yeah, we're going to finish off William's room here. All right, to finish off William's room, we're gonna put two end rods in his closet like that, and then just some random banners for clothing, and then ladder and button for his air conditioner, and then we can go ahead and seal up this window here. Boom, and there is William's room, but now we of course need to grab, um, oh, those stupid dogs, like they're literally barking at nothing, I swear. But yeah, sea lantern and chiseled uh, quartz here. It's gonna be, uh, this is gonna be for the ceiling, so we'll go ahead and, uh, coat this, I guess. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, the ceiling is gonna be kind of weird in here, but, yeah, I guess we can just fill that up there, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty much William's ceiling, so, there you go, there's William's room, you can, again, add, feel free to add a lot more detail in here, but this is just a pretty much, this is a pretty generic, you know, version of his room so there we go oh and then of course we'll need a door um you know because you know william needs privacy you know so there we go put a door there and we'll put a door for the parents room as well and uh we'll actually go ahead and do the ceiling in here as well for the so make sure you still have your chiseled quartz and um your lanterns and then just kind of just do a full box around here and then make sure you can still go through here and boom there we go and then there is your ceiling for the uh, hallway, which is nice. All right, oh, and then uh, for over here, we will need a um, snowball and a item frame. And then just right here, that's gonna be like the smoke alarm that's like hanging on their wall there. So it's just a little added detail. Um, but yeah, and then, oh uh, yeah, once you've done that, um, we'll have to do, the last thing we have to do is the parents' bedroom, and then we'll be 100% done with this, oh, this house, finally, so, thankfully, I can't wait to get done with this house, guys, seriously, alrighty, alright, so for the parents' bedroom, light blue terracotta, end rod, uh, two random banners of any kind, um, bookshelf, magenta bed, bookshelf, or, well, Excuse me, we're ready to grab bookshelf, lantern, sea pickle, and then just a painting of any kind. Alright. Go ahead and knock out this window right here, just so we can get in and out easier. Alright, so, so for the light blue terracotta, you want to come to this window, so this front window right here, this front left window, where this is at. Alright, you want to leave a gap of two, and then just go ahead and put a light blue, and then extend up by two, and then extend to the wall. Alright. 
and then end rods inside and then purple banners that's going to be the closet all right you can actually extend this up higher if you want to make it more flush with the wall here and then just by the window here you want to put a bookshelf gap a two bookshelf and then magenta bed in the middle and then just a sea pickle and then like a lantern on the other side all right again feel free to add more detail there but uh, and then uh, we'll just put like a one by two painting above the bed just like that there we go alrighty and then next thing to do here is we just need to and I'll go ahead and seal up this window back just like so all right so then next thing we got to do here is um, go ahead and grab a brewing stand a conduit uh, spruce planks birch button uh, any kind of flower and then uh, flower pot, black concrete, bookshelf, and I think that's it. Oh, and then uh, go ahead and grab uh, chisel quartz and sea lantern, but, you know, not enough room to put the sea lantern. So, brewing stand and conduit on the windowsill, basically. Um, and then just a gap of two. Uh, and then, or no, basically, I think it's a gap of, what is it, gap of one, gap of two? It's a gap of one. All right. So, a gap of one from this window right here, this front window. Or no. Yeah, it's the front window, sorry. Yeah, so front window, leave a gap of one. Two spruce, extend up. Birch buttons on the front. Flower pot on top. Uh, flowers. All right, and then bookshelves. And then two by two black concrete at the top. All right, and then that's pretty much that. Yeah, so... Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we actually finished the parents' bedroom, actually. Let me double check. But yeah, that's... Pretty much the parents' bedroom. Again, uh, feel free to add more detail because it definitely needs it. So, but I, I didn't want to add too much. I just wanted to kind of, you know, get a basic around it. Because it's also meant to be just uh, like a regular house as well if you're wanting to not even just use it for like the Violet First house, but also kind of use it for like a regular. I mean, I don't, that doesn't really make any sense because it's a regular house anyway, but I don't know. And then you can go ahead and um, make the ceiling in here. And then, uh, yeah, once we've done that, guys, that'll be... Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, that's the Violet First House 100% complete. So, yeah, uh, again, just make sure you have all your windows sealed up. But, but yeah, uh, that's actually it. That's the entire house done, finally. Oh my gosh, that's actually insane. So, wow, there you guys go. All right, I can't believe we actually got it done. So, um, yeah, guys, um, hopefully you guys did end up enjoying this tutorial. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, turn on post notifications. So you don't miss an awesome tutorial as this one comes out. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next video.